here we go with my way of doing the enforcer there's a specific way you should be pairing the enforcer to make it very easy the enforcer is really easy if you stay calm but everyone says that so i'm not gonna say a stay calm you should be as nervous as possible the entire technique behind the enforcer is holding f when you parry instead of just trying to tap parry just hold f because he's just gonna faint Fainting is what kills you. And all his attacks are very easy to read. But what happens is people get fainted on and they just get hit over and over and get kicked. You shouldn't even think about dodging. You shouldn't think about moving. You should just hold S. Don't hold S at all. Just parry by holding F. I'm doing a med to show how easy it really is. There's two ways to do this. You can either parry a bunch over and over. This one doesn't even faint. And you just hit the hammer. The variations probably make it a lot harder. But all you gotta do is this. You just gotta hold F when you parry. If he faints, you're just gonna end up blocking. Though I don't think the hammer one even faints. The easy mode is just parrying over and over again. And I'm only holding. If I miss one and he faints like that, I just block and I regain my posture after. He kicks me. What you can do if you're really high level is just spam him while he's spinning. And it doesn't matter. Again, back, just, I'm holding F. So every time I go to parry, and it will cancel it, so you have to take your finger off of F. But if you miss the parry, because he faints, which is what, F, what happens to everybody, you're just gonna block. You're just gonna block. That's all that's gonna happen. I can do this forever. Your parries, when you tap parry, they just go and there's no blocking. They're gonna add block frames, that's what layer 2 is changing with it. But currently, there's no blocking. But if you hold F, it starts as a parry and turns into a block. It doesn't look like it, but it's acting as a parry and a block at the same time. That's why you gotta hold F. So even if you miss a parry, you'll block it. Also, another trick a lot of people do to prevent being pulled is they use an emote, like Pride. And once you get good at it, you'll be able to just know exactly when to M1. See? He fanned there, and it didn't even matter. Because I'm parrying what I think I should parry, but I'm holding down F. So even if he faints, I either parry or I block. I'm never going to be getting hit by accident. You can do this forever. But he'll stop fainting if you just do that a lot. What you should really do is this. And if he puts his block up like this and flinched a little, you get another M1 in. He fainted, but I blocked it. The faint shouldn't get you, because you shouldn't be tap pairing. Like if I'm tapping, he faints, it's over. See, I get hit. But because I'm holding F, worst case scenario, I block it. A lot of people say just parry six or seven times, but you should learn to be able to do this because you don't want this fight to last forever. You want it to be over with, you want to leave the depths. Especially now, spam him one while he's spinning, doesn't matter.